Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog, and this one is uh, solving problems using data. So this is lesson 2-6. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, MrMathBlog.com. Okay, so there's our common core strand. Our essential question is how can we use data and bar graphs to solve problems? So they're going to give us some bar graphs here, and we're going to uh, answer some questions about it. So here's a bar graph. Debbie's class voted on which milkshake flavor was their favorite. The bar graph shows the results. The question is, how many more votes did vanilla receive than chocolate? Okay, so here's vanilla out here. Here's chocolate. I'm a banana shake fan, although I like strawberry also. I like vanilla too. Uh, I like chocolate the least, although if I, if I had to, I'd, I'd drink it if, if nobody, if there was nothing else. Anyways, I love banana the most. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're going to use a model. So what we're going to do is count uh, back along the scale to find the difference between the bars. All right, so what I did is I highlighted, uh, since we're just talking about uh, vanilla and chocolate, I just took the vanilla and chocolate and highlighted it right here. So vanilla went all the way out to 10, so that's why 10's in there. And then chocolate went between halfway between 2 and 4, so there was 3. Uh, students that like the chocolate right there. Okay, so the question, how many more votes did vanilla receive than chocolate? So what we can do is we can just uh, count back from 10 to 3, okay? So I'm going to do jumps right here. So uh, from 8 to, or from 10 to 8, we're going to, that's 2. So we're going to count back 1, 2, and then we're going to count back 3, 4, and then from uh, 5, 6, and then from here to here is only going to be one, so there's going to be seven right there. Okay, so the difference is seven votes right there. All right, uh, so explain another way we can skip count to find the difference. Well, we could have counted by twos, no problem. We could have went, okay, from here, two, four, six, and then count one more seven. So we could have skip counted by twos down right there. So another way is to write a number sentence. Okay, so just think, there are 10 votes for vanilla and there's three votes for chocolate, so we subtract to compare the numbers. So 10 minus three is seven, okay? So vanilla received seven more votes than chocolate. So we just did a little quick subtraction. Okay, here's another one. Uh, Brandy's school had a coat drive. The bar graph uh, at the right shows the number of coats. How many fewer coats were collected on Tuesday then on Thursday and Friday combined. Okay, so we're going to have to first uh, add Thursday and Friday combined. So let's find the total. So Thursday ended here at 24, and Friday is halfway between 24 and 28, so that would be 26. So we're going to go ahead and add 24 plus 26. Well, 25 plus 25 is 50, and this is one less than 25, and this is one more than 25, so this should be the same. 24 plus 26 is going to be 50 also. So there's Thursday and Friday combined. Okay, so now we're going to subtract to compare the total for Tuesday, then, uh, uh, then from Thursday and Friday. So, so Thursday and Friday is 50, and, and, and Tuesday looks like Tuesday is halfway between uh, 12 and 16, so that would be 14 right there. So 50 minus 14 is uh, 36 right there. So I uh, just moved that up to save some room right there. So there were um, uh, 36 fewer coats uh collected on tuesday then on thursday and friday combined right there okay so the trick was is you had to figure out what was thursday and friday combined uh, first and then and then you subtract it off the Tuesday right there. All right, what if uh, uh, four fewer coats were collected on Monday than on Tuesday? How many coats would be collected on Monday? Okay, well Tuesday had 14 coats collected, so if there were four fewer there than you guys, then uh, then we'd do 14 minus four, which means there would be 10 uh, coats collected on Monday then. Okay, you guys, hey, if you get a chance, would you hit like and take care, everybody.